In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get pressure against a blocked running back in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, I would highly, highly encourage you to subscribe because we post four videos a day like this one that are different tips, different strategies, different tricks of the trade to help you get better at the game. We post everything from full schemes to um, blitzing schemes to running defenses to uh, just little user tips here and there. Anything that we can do to try to grow, to try to improve, to try to get better at this game, that is what this channel is all about. So if you are looking to get better at the game, I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button because I believe that through these videos and through the community that we've built here and also at our Discord, which you can join in the description, you will begin to get better at this game. All right, let's jump in. We're going to be talking about a um, just a blitz that's very, very simple, and I like it because it does really, really well against a blocked running back. So what most people will do in Madden 21 is if they want to stop a pressure, they're just going to block their running back. And ironically, like that pretty much stops the majority of blitzes in the game. This blitz from Nickel Normal is not exactly the case. Uh, nickel Blitz 2, and all you're going to do on your coaching adjustments is you're going to put auto alignment to base align. You can put your fastest guy in that left slot if you wanted to. Maybe like for the Packers, that would be Perry Nickerson at 95 speed, and then we can put um, we can put safeties in at those positions as well. But we're going to go with Nickel Blitz 2. All we're going to do when we come out is we are going to hit R1 and pinch our entire defense we're going to blitz our linebackers and that's pretty much it the blitz is set up the last step is just to slide this corner in off the edge and then qb contain rush him as you see here this is what we want the play to look like and then we're going to get onto our user and we're going to stand right over the center and what you're going to see happen here is if the running back is blocking um we are still going to be able to get pressure so i'm going to come in and then I'm going to swoop out, and you're going to see you're still able to get that left edge pressure um, against your quarterback. Now, let me just show you really, really quickly what happens if you don't uh, QB contain, because you do have that option as well. If you don't QB contain, you'll see that the blitz angles that you create on the left are on the right side uh, are pretty solid, and you can actually get some a gap pressure right through the middle if you don't do the contain rush. But I would tell you that that pressure, in my opinion does come a little bit slower but if you bring the slot in here just like this like i said you know it's all about the gap shooting and standing right in this gap right here but snap right here just come forward just a little bit you're going to see you're going to get that pressure screaming and that's against a block running back now if the running back doesn't block i just want to show you what the pressure will look like you should get some some semblance of a gap pressure or gap heat uh, from some, from one of the sides here but literally i'm just going to come down and then come out and you see we're going to get double edge we're going to get right edge and left edge pressure at the quarterback this is very beneficial, not as a base blitz to come out and run every play. This is a situational blitz. So what I would probably do with the coverage behind this, because I know I'm going to probably get pressure, unless they really, really, really protect well, uh, I would just blitz everybody and then, you know, basically drop out into uh, a really, really underneath coverage. You could use this for situations like fourth down or something like that. Another blitz uh, that you could call if you wanted to is go to Overstorm Brave and all you got to do is just blitz your slot db and what you'll see here and then you could just crash your line to the right just like this right here you just want to kind of be with your user right over the center that's what i think works best and then what i would do is you're basically you know that your responsibility um is to cover the running back if he goes out on a route and if he doesn't go on a route then you're just going to swerve back into the middle of the field um, but you see the blitz doesn't quite work as good if you don't have those specific blitz angles from nickel blitz so that's why i like to basically just run nickel blitz too and then adjust out of it so an example could be you basically set your blitz up and then maybe what you do you know is you start to you know effectively uh cross man and man up people as you can see right here you get something like this and then you scream at them that way um but those are some really uh simple ways to run this blitz but real quick i just want to go over the setup one more time all you're going to do is you're going to pinch your defense you don't have to slide in Perry Nickerson. if you don't want to slide them in you don't have to uh the blitz will still come in so if, like if they block the running back like if you don't want to slide you don't have to you see he'll still come in it just comes in faster if you slide him over but basically pinch your defense blitz your linebackers slide this corner over here and then i personally think contain rushing will make a big big difference and what you'll see here you got the gap pressure you got multiple gap pressures coming you got edge pressure this is just a really 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 good way to really let your opponent feel the heat um the heat's gonna come 
the heat is definitely going to come with with this blitz that's the guarantee the issue is you are you know you are contributing six and a half um six and a half people at the quarterback but i would do something like this little cloud coverage right here and then basically you're just lurking in the middle of the field and you'll be surprised that I, you can spring this on people but again i would start him with nickel blitz with, with just the with with just the um five man version of it whether it be to the right or to the left and i would go to the opposite side of the running back so like right in here um that would be something like this right here if the running back's on the right then i would i would send it or on the left then i would send it from the right if the running back's on the right then i would send it from the left that's a rule of thumb that you could use however if they have like bunch or something like that then i would more so base that off of the tight end because most of bunch players that i know use the running back in a lot of their route combinations whereas the tight end is kind of interchangeable but what you'll see here like if they if they block the running back right here um you you can still get some decent pressure from that right edge but it's not going to completely come free like it would if you were to do the six man version of it which is where i'm blitzing you know my linebacker sliding this guy in right here and then just going just like this right here and what you'll see is this pressure will guarantee i mean it's guaranteed pressure you're sending six um you're sending six but again you're sending six against six and you're getting one free that's the that's the key so in a mathematical equation you know you're basically uh, winning out with this blitz either any way you look at it if you run it like this as you see the running back just kind of dumbs out doesn't really block anybody so this defense is really really good i have some better defenses as well if you want my run defense i talk about um uh, a run defense in Madden that can show you how to stop every single run in Madden. It's about 50 minutes long because we literally went through every single run in the game. You can text me for that. You can join our text message membership. We give away free tips, free free schemes, um, and they are very, very high level and very, very in-depth, more advanced tactics um, than anything. So if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced than just this blitz, maybe you're looking at user rushing or different things like that, I would highly encourage you to just shoot me a text message. I can get you signed up for our text message membership tips. And then basically what that boils down to is, I mean, it's just my cell phone number um, and my number's in the top left corner. It's 812 Two one six three six four four. So just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to be a part of that, and I can send those to you. We send those out every single Monday. That's when those tips come out. So if you are interested um, in in being a part of that, I would highly encourage it. I think it's very very effective, and I think it's very very helpful for a lot of people. So I'd encourage you to do that. If you haven't jumped in the Discord yet, there's a link in the description, and we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Check out these videos on your stream if you, in case you missed one of them, and we will see you guys in a bit.